Please stay standing while we listen to the music program play the national anthem.
Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Stafford Award Assembly. I'm Anthony Sherburn, currently a third year in the Leadership and Marketing Program, and also a third year in Video Production at Stafford. Congratulations to my fellow seniors for making it to this point. Now, I'd like to introduce the guest speaker for today. Go to the Central side. She graduated from Stafford in 2010. She also she also, she also took part in the video production program at Cass here, and also graduated from Castleman College and took part in the video production and communication program that they have over there. She now works at Peg TV. Without further ado, I would like to welcome Amber Dumas. very much for inviting me here today. When I was asked to be here, initially I was very surprised. It's truly such an honor to speak here where I have some of my best memories. It's hard for me to talk about myself, so I want to start by saying congratulations to the graduating class. It's such an exciting time in your life. I'm sure it hasn't hit you yet, but all of you are going to do great things when you leave this place. Each one of you has unique gifts, and I look forward to seeing the accomplishments of my fellow Stafford alumni. I attended Stafford for two years in the video production program. I loved the hands-on experience and technical skills I gained as a result of attending that program. I have always loved all things communications and video. Stafford helped me turn my passion into a career. My love of video started at a young age. I can remember getting a tape recorder, going around my neighborhood, interviewing friends and family. It was riveting news, I'm sure. Most nightly news anchors have a tagline sign up. Mine was unique. To my knowledge, nobody has ever ended their news show saying, this is Amber Dumas reporting the news. I have always been fascinated with the idea of capturing moments forever a piece of history that can never be forgotten. So, it was only natural that when my father and mother gave me their old video camera, nearly the size of me, I would begin to document the lives of people around me. My first documentary features the life of my younger brother, Jerry. I would wake him up in the morning, documenting his every move before and after school. He wasn't as thrilled with my hobby as I was and certainly wouldn't have signed any consent forms. 
Living in Vermont, we all know that bad weather can oftentimes mean no power for extended periods of time. When I was 13 or so, we had one of these storms. Thousands of people across the county were without power. Luckily, my father was prepared with a small generator to charge the important things, like my camera batteries. Apparently, leaving ancient equipment plugged in for too long can cause problems. I was able to document the storm. My dad, however, was unable to fix his generator. Sorry, dad. When I was invited to visit Stafford Technical Center, I couldn't wait. I remember filling out the paperwork. When asked what my second choice for a program was, I hesitated to give an answer. Getting accepted to Stafford changed my life. I was never a bad student, per se, but nothing motivated me to do well in school like video production. The idea that I could do what I love in school was eye-opening. It motivated me to push through my core classes because I loved my program. I saw the same excitement in my friends and peers' lives. Growing up, we are all often told that we can do anything. After going through the college preparation and application process, I decided two things. Well, three, really. I was going to have the best GPA in my life. And I was going to graduate college debt-free. And if at all humanly possible, I never want that kind of stress again. Apparently, you can reach for the stars, but wanting to start out your life without debt is considered impossible. Simply put, people thought I was crazy. With the support of my loving family, after attending Castleton College, I graduated this spring with a 3.8 GPA. I drove clunkers and worked through college. For two summers, I had the pleasure of working for B-Trans on the painting crew. I flagged cars, painted roads, scraped stencils, and made some of the best memories of my life. I worked for a cleaning company, bartended, and waited tables. Is it a bad time to say, please remember to tip your servers? <laughs> By the love and support of my family and blessing of God, I'm standing here today debt-free. Before graduation, I had one thing left to do, get an internship. So I applied to Peg TV and hoped for the best. I was called for an interview and began my internship there. Apparently, I did something right because on my first week, I was offered a full-time position. I'm so fortunate to say that I love my job. I truly work with some of the greatest people in the area. If you're interested in producing your own show, give us a call. Peg TV produces a weekly half-hour news magazine called Access. It covers issues and events in our region. As a field producer, one of my favorite parts about my job is working on Access. I get to be out in the community on a daily basis. Although I've spent most of my time here today talking about myself, the highlight of my job is telling people stories. There are incredible people who live in our community. I have the joy of helping them share their stories, all of your stories. Even in my short time with Peg TV, I have met some of the most inspiring people. One of these people is Nick Zioli. He's a World War II veteran whose reputation for speaking his mind precedes him. He's an incredibly energetic individual. You wouldn't believe he's 92. I admire his no-nonsense attitude. There is something refreshing in a world of political correctness and policies about someone who just tells it like it is. It also makes for absolutely fascinating television. Nick is just one of the many incredible people I've met at the Castleton Community Center and other community organizations and events. I don't know that I'm of any age to give advice. I have many lessons left to learn myself. But for what my 23 years of experience are worth, here's what I would tell myself five years ago. Don't be afraid to be different. There is something to be said about the road less traveled. The most important thing isn't what you do for work or how educated you are. These are good things. But at the end of the day, we are each given one resource, 
our time. What you spend your time doing is the kind of person you are becoming. I want to be the kind of daughter that makes my parents proud, and the kind of granddaughter who will drop whatever she's doing to help her grandparents. I want to be the kind of sister and friend that brings joy to those around me, offering a kind word and support. And lastly, I want to be the kind of employee and person who brings the community of Rutland and Stafford Technical Center a good name. I hope that wherever you go and whatever you do, you keep these things in mind. Thank you. It's not going to be any time for her to have this chair, but we want her to be able to sit when she gets a moment. Yeah. We have a staffing t-shirt so she will remember us and advertise us when she's out and about. Big TV. Yeah. And the teddy bear and the coffee cup for those long nights when she's doing her story. I also want to say thanks to Anthony. Anthony, if you know, is a third year student here in the Leadership Marketing Program as well as Video Communications. And Anthony has been, uh, for me, just a joy to have to work with because he's done all the assemblies. And honestly, I don't really like being in front of people doing all this stuff. So he's been the one that's, that's covered all of our assemblies and made it easier for me and Mr. Olson to uh, get in front of you. So a big round of applause for Anthony. Recognizing people, um, all of you got to where you are today by the help of a lot of people. And I'd like the staff and the faculty of Stafford Tech and any board members or superintendents or principals that are here, please stand up for a minute so we can give you guys a round of applause because you're the ones that help get them to this point today. Achievement Medal Awards. These uh, Achievement Awards are given to students who have demonstrated exceptional growth in their program area. And when I call the, uh, there's both seniors that are getting these and juniors. When I call the juniors, would you please come up when your name is called and Mr. Olson has um, your medal award. And the seniors will just stand and be recognized at this point in time. So the first one to be recognized for auto refinishing collision and career is Cody Scarborough. Yes, 
Heather Johnson. In digital arts, Austin Bonk. Red Cross. Electrical Plumbing, Lucas Turner. And Electrical Plumbing, Avery Billings. In Forestry Natural Resources, Jason Stone. Forestry Natural Resources Career, Brad Sorrell. In Health Careers, Aaron Perry. Also in Health Careers, Rachel Jones. Human Services Career, Emily Hansen. Charity. <laughs> and leadership marketing and culinary, Isabel Hardina. <laughs> and also leadership and marketing and music program, Julia Simons. <laughs> and music tech, jazz, and contemporary career, Maya John Robinson. Jazz and Kemper career with Rebecca Hatch. And Power Mechanics Welding, Jacob White. And Power Mechanics Welding career, Thomas Wesson. In Public Safety Services, Rachel Walker. Services, Ron Kraft. In STEM, Joseph Scarborough. And also in STEM, Brenda Hardy. Brenda Hardy. In video communications, Kevin Richard. Communications career, Rachel Carpenter. And again, a good round of applause for all of the students that got the achievement medal this year. This time I'd like to ask Ms. Solo to come up and do the college credits and industry certifications. addition to those two vouchers. Uh, for example, some students may earn as many as 24 college credits over two years in a program such as public safety, while other students may earn an industry-recognized certification, such as a licensed nursing assistant certification or um, an American Welding Society certification in other programs. We would like to take this time now to recognize these students' achievements in these areas. Uh, what I'd like to do is have students, when you hear your name read, please stand and remain standing, and we'll hold our applause until all students for each achievement are announced and standing. So with the following students who have earned three or more college credits, please stand. Jordan Mattson, Alyssa Sarsnecki, Isabel Hardina, Noel Herka, Ian Miller, Miranda Platz, Andrea Tomolowitz, Caitlin McCoy, 
Lucas Turunen, Nicholas Hill, Delaney Chartier, Emily Hansen, Marie Whalen, Julia Simons, Aiden Bemis, Kareem Bombardier, Matthew Bird, Courtney Casey, Sarah Dunn, Stephen L., Brendan Harvey, Amelia Kippup, Alexander Lasante, Wyatt Martin, Trey Jen McGee, Brett Novak, Joseph Scarborough, Megan Spafford, and Abigail Wright. Please stand. We recognize you for earning three or more college credits. Following students could please stand. These students have earned 12 or more college credits. Austin Goff, Brett Cross, Sophia Ruiz, Virgil Van Gilder, Aaron Perry, Nicole Stocker, Jacob Bertrand, Jonah Farrow, Ali Fitzgerald, Peyton Hines, Ronald Kreth, Maz Lewis, Brooke Mead, Rachel Walker, Rebecca Hitler, and Samuel White. These students have earned 12 or more college credits. Jacob Delancey, Trey McCoy, Cody Scarborough, Jacob Scarborough, Christian Sundenbach, Brandon Bootsby, Brian Burge, Dustin Dupree, Taylor Gilmore, Joshua Harrington, Tara, I'm sorry, this is cut off, Tara Johnson, Tyler Youngman, Logan Reichster, Logan Slater, Donovan Stewart, Dakota Travers, Tyler Whittemore, Toby Davis, Taylor Villarno, Vincent Kendall, Tim Robinson, Charles Franzoni, Tyler Goodhue, Dylan Hess, Tony Onofrio, Keenan Pratt, Carter Smith, Riley Benoit, Jacob Lampier, Jonathan Smith, Becca Lynn Dugan, Shelby Fonseca, Melissa Parker, Idris Atwood, Alicia Cheshire, Heather Johnson, Alexis Muscatello, Jasmine Palmer, Tyler Scalia, Sherry Smith, Cameron Stonemuller, Zachary Rebster Birch, Max Bushman, Andrew Fortier, Hunter Jacob, Jordan Matheson, Kelly Pelletier, Cheyenne Withington, Alyssa Sarsnecki, Isabella Hardina, Autumn Shattuck, Megan Wood, Avery Billings, Ramsey French, Elias Gano, Francis Grabowski, Caitlin McCoy, Jarrett Patch, Benjamin Siemens, Sebastian Serp, Lucas Tarunin, Cameron Wilk, Nicholas Hill, Benjamin Lorman, Logan Alger, Callie Bushy, Isaac Day, Bradley DeSorda, Cameron Lewis, Cody Montross, Jason Stone, Jacob Carter, Andrew Clark, Brad Cyril, Kevin McGuire, Michael Stratton, Alicia Boudreau, Cheyenne Capegri, Rachel Cook, Sarah Dupree, Jalen Dumont, Samantha Hitchcock, Lydia May, Hannah Merrill, Molly Ward, Cassandra Ains, Danielle Bethel, Marissa Chisimore-Stumpton, Patience Gaines, 
Avery Mullen, Nicole Simons, Kelsey Bapti, Delaney Cartier, Kika Fry Johnson, Brandy Goyette, Emily Hansen, Courtney Harrington, Marie Whalen, Julia Simons, Eric Dyfendorf, Brighton Fontaine, Josh Jendell, Andrew Seward, Thomas Woodward, Nicholas Cram, Randy DeSordo, Abigail Lancor, Thomas Wessing, Jacob White, Justin Houghton, Aiden Bemis, Matthew Bird, Amelia Kaput, Alexander Lasante, Trajan McGee, Megan Spafford, and Anthony Sherburn. All of these students have earned an industry recognized credential. dedication to make these achievements. I'd like to invite Ted Gilmette and Glenn Olson to come up and present the specific awards and scholarships for students. This is the uh, moment in the assembly where we, or the awards ceremony where we give out a lot of money. I like this part. It's always fun giving somebody else's money away. And we're giving away quite a bit today. Um, the students have done really well, and I'm gonna start with our first award of $200. It's the Russ Smith Award. And Russ Smith was given to an outstanding automotive student in memory of Russ Smith, a local automotive dealer. And this year it goes to our auto refinishing and collision student from Pulteney High School, uh, Kayla McMurray. Kayla, Next scholarship goes out as the Richard J. Allen Award, $50. This is given to a student with exceptional abilities in the field of plumbing. This year's award winner is from the Electrical Plumbing Program of Rutland High School student. His name is Avery Millings. Carol Crump Award of $200 is giving to an outstanding business student in memory of Ms. Krupp, a former instructor at Stafford Technical Center. And this year's award goes to a leadership uh, student in the culinary program from West Rutland High School, Isabel Hardina. <laughs> Frizzell Scholarship of $250 is given in memory of Louis B. Frizzell, a local plumber and long-standing member of the community. It's presented this year to electrical plumbing career student uh, from Rutland High School, Benjamin Norman. The Human Services Advisory Committee Award of $100 presented to a human services student who is highly motivated conscientious, dependable, positive, and willing helper to anyone in need, and a peer role model for success. This year we are recognizing uh, a student in the Human Services Career Program from Mill River High School, Emily Hansen. Crawford Drew Award of $500 is provided by the family of and in memory of Crawford Drew, a talented local musician. This award goes to a music technology student who aspires to the professional abilities modeled by Mr. Drew. This award is given to a music technology career student from Pulteney High School, Julia Simons. Jenny Woloshin Award of $200 is presented in the memory of Ms. Woloshin, who wished to support a student who has excelled in his or her chosen part of profession. This, year, this year's award goes to a health occupation student from Pulteney High School, Rachel Jones. <laughs> the Rutland Area Vehicle Enthusiast Scholarship. RAV Group, where $500 is created for the benefit of students in the automotive technology programs at Stafford Technical Center. 
Rutland area vehicle enthusiast has promoted the pre preservation of vintage antique and classic cars in and around Rutland County. Profits from their annual car show are used to support the scholarship. This year it goes to an honorary finishing collision student from Rutland High School, uh, Trey McCoy. Public Service Scholarship Award $200 presented to the Public Safety Services Law Enforcement student who has exceeded all expectations of professionalism, service, and scholarship. This year's recipient goes to a public safety career student from Fairhaven High School, Rebecca Hebler. The Robert Red Pigram Award of $500 established in 2012 is given in honor of Mr. Pigram, who was a maintenance staff member for the Vermont Housing Authority. This award is given to an outstanding electrical plumbing student who is interested in pursuing a career in building maintenance, plumbing, or electrical trades, who has an exemplary work ethic, including attendance, leadership, and maturity. We're pleased to announce this year's recipient is an electrical plumbing career student from Fairhaven High School, Nicholas Hill. Chris Franco Memorial Scholarship Award of $500 was created in memory of Chris Franco by his friends and fellow chefs. Beginning with the class of 2014, this award will be given to a graduating senior in the Culinary Arts Program who intends to further their culinary education or who will directly enter the workforce and will need the tools of the trade. This year's leadership culinary student is from West Rutland High School is Isabel Hardina. Dedication Scholarship of $200 um, is awarded to culinary arts students who exhibit dedication, hard work, have been consistent role models, plan to pursue further education in the field. Um, these awards are going out to four people. First one is Max Bushman from Culinary Arts Career from Mill River High School. Second goes to Lisa Sarnecki, who's in the Leadership Culinary Program from Rutland High School. Third scholarship goes to Andrew Fortier in Culinary Arts Career from Colton High School. And the last goes to George Madison, who's in Culinary Arts Career from Rutland High School. Rutland South Rotary Scholarship, uh, there's two recipients this year, is chosen through a rigorous interview process involving discussion of community service and career goals. This year we have two students. One is in cosmetology uh, career from Fairhaven, and the scholarship in the amount of $1,500 goes to Becca Lynn Dugan. Scholarship goes to a student in the Culinary Arts Career Program who's from Mill River High School, Max Bushman. The Red Perez Memorial Scholarship Award of $500 was established in 2013. It's given to a student residing in or with a connection to Castleton, Fairhaven, Pulteney, or West Rutland. The recipient is a leader, has a positive attitude, is friendly, honest, forthright, and an exemplary member of their uh, Stafford program, and intends to pursue further education. This year, it goes to a student in the STEM, our new STEM program. The student is from Rutland High School, Courtney Casey. Automobile Enthusiast Golden Wrench Award. Uh, they are a group that is an antique and classic car club with members from 10 states, Canada, Europe, and China. They're dedicated to the preservation and appreciation of the automotive industry and technology. This award includes the, the Vermont Automobile Enthusiast Golden Wrench Trophy, uh, $400 Mac tools, and one year membership to the BAC. This year's recipient is in the auto refinishing program again from Pulteney High School, Kayla McMurray. It's a heavy box there, Kayla. You can take it if you want. 
Chevy. The AFCSME Achievement Award of $250, in the beginning with the graduating class of 2014, two seniors will be awarded $250 each. Recipients must intend to pursue further education or plan to directly enter the workforce and be in need of tools. Each recipient will have completed 90% of the program skill requirements and be pursuing an industry credential as well as being leaders within their home school and at Stafford Technical Center. This year's award will go to a public safety career student from Fairhaven High School, Rebecca Heeler. We also have a student from the Auto Technology Career Program from Pulteney High School, Vincent Kendall, that's receiving the award as well. Francis L. and Florence Robillard Memorial Scholarship, Vermont Student Assistance Corporation has established an annual $1,000 scholarship in memory of Francis and Florence Robillard to be awarded to an outstanding technical center student who has plans of further training at the post-secondary level. This year it goes to a Rutland High School student in the Health Careers Academy program, Aaron Perry. Student Assistance Corporation Vermont Honor Scholarship and the amount of $1,000 awarded to a student has met two of the following criteria. They're the top 10% of the graduating class, they have a minimum grade point average of an 85, and they have an exemplary SAT scores. This year is going to a Fairhaven High School student in the Digital Arts Career uh, Program, Virgil Van Gael. The uh, director's award in the amount of $100 is going to two people this year. Each uh, are students in a technical program that have demonstrated outstanding achievement in their instructional area and contributed to the overall school leadership. This year we have from Otter Valley in digital arts career, Miranda Platts. And from Fairhaven High School in Video Communications, Kevin Richard. The Henry L. Dahl Award of $150 is given to an outstanding student that best exemplifies youth leadership and achievement in the school community. This year, the award goes to a Rutland High School student, again in the Health Careers Program. The student is Aaron Perry. Um, I'd also like to recognize three people that every, every year we have representatives, representatives that are on our uh, regional advisory board, that group that, that tells Glenn and I what we need to do. And we have three students that sat on that this year and they did a great job, so I'm going to ask them just to stand for a round of applause. Again, Aaron Perry from Health Careers, Rutland High School. <laughs> Sheldon Lee is in the Cosmetology Career Program at Rutland High School. I can tell you they represented you well and they were very professional and I hope they learned a lot from, from that experience. At this time, we have a video that Mr. Casper's uh, video communications program put together. Uh, if we can cue that up, we're going to watch that before we get into the final uh, event, which will be honoring our seniors here. As Stafford Technical Center was when um, we built our table here in the welding shop, and it came out really nice, and we had a lot of fun doing that. One of my favorite memories here at Stafford is probably uh, going on part of the block in heaven. The uh, bus ride up there is usually quite entertaining, and we have a lot of fun up there. We're gonna... I think my favorite memory from Stafford would be my second year, which was last year. When we were all roads together, we were all a family. My favorite thing about Stafford was having the opportunity to be able to go out and pull off and explore new possibilities. Well, one memory I have about Stafford is 
is breaking about three drumsticks during this school year. For example, right here. That's when we started probably doing our senior prank. It's all fun. Hey, Nanny, that's what we're doing. about STEM is communicating through school and seeing all little kids playing the all different kinds of toys and teaching them um, things to the other kids. And we find those memories by the skills and they're really good and so many people in the class. My favorite one of staff that has to be the launch of FTCN on October 1st. That day was crazy, but the experience of being on an actual real-life TV station and doing the weather from the real green screen with real equipment is really great. Um, my best memory would probably be getting to spend time with all of my classmates in Lake George and going to Crystal Beach and play volleyball and everything. Uh, the favorite memory, I guess, is probably a field trip with the kids. It was really fun with them. The field trips are like they're great, really hands on. You get to interact with the kids, and it's really enjoyable. Just talking with them, teaching them things. It's great. I love it. Yeah, this program is probably last year.
We've got Vincent Kendall, Tim Robinson, from Construction Technology, Charles Franzoni, Tyler Goodhue. Tony Onofrio. <laughs> Riley Benoit. <laughs> Jonathan Smith. <laughs> From Cosmetology, Elisa Landry. Shelby Daigle. <laughs> Becca Lynn Dugan. <laughs> Shelby Fonseca. <laughs> Valeria Foco. <laughs> Caitlin Mangan. Sandra Mitchell, <laughs> Melissa Parker, Bridget Thomas, from Culinary Arts, Heather Johnson, Max Bushman. Andrew Fortier. Hunter Jacob. Jordan Madison. Kelly Pelletier. Sarsnicki. 
Isabel Hardina. From Digital Arts, Joseph Nitzkowski. Austin Bach. Brett Cross. Miranda Platts. Virgil Van Geyler. <laughs> Megan Wood. <laughs> From Electrical Plumbing, Caitlin McCoy. <laughs> Trevor Brown. Nicholas Hill. <laughs> Joshua Lacasio Woods. <laughs> Benjamin Norman. <laughs> William Rice. on this side, please rise. Hi. From the forestry program, Brad Cyril. Careers, Samantha Hitchcock. Delaney Chartier. <laughs> Kika Fry Johnson. <laughs> Brandy Goyette. Shania Earl. Maya Robinson. Julia Simons. From the Power Mechanics Program, Josh Jendel. Barry Bruno. <laughs> Nicholas.
Nicholas Cram. Randy Disorda. Dylan Kennedy. <laughs> Abigail Landford. <laughs> Jacob White. <laughs> Justin Cope. Public Safety Program, Ronald Kreff. <laughs> Rachel Walker. <laughs> Rebecca Keebler. <laughs> Samuel White. From the STEM program, Courtney Casey. Sarah Dunn. Joseph Scarborough. From the video program, Ariana Patillier. <laughs> Randy Fjell. <laughs> Kaylee Gilbert. <laughs> Colin Hurst. Kevin Richard. <laughs> Rachel Carpenter. <laughs> Matthew Vita. <laughs> Anthony Sherbert. Would all of the 2015 seniors please rise? Congratulations to all our seniors. like to come and take pictures. This is your picture off of the seniors standing right here. Come on up and take pictures. 